this Wednesday. We have uh, two months mind masses, one for Marceline J. Rommel and the other for Philomena Correa and also the first death anniversary mass of Joseph Nazareth. There are about eight to ten box intentions. We pray for all these persons and for those who are close to them. Our entrance hymn, please stand, is hymn number 89, Come in Pilgrim, Lay Your Burden Down. Come in Pilgrim, lay your burden down, we are all comrades as we travel on the way. We share a common gift, our covenant in Christ, and we are going to celebrate His love today. We will sing and celebrate His love today. When we come to join in prayer, let us first confess. We have looked too much to ourselves and loved each other less. Come and pilgrim, lay your burden down. We are our comrades as we travel on the way. We share a common gift, our covenant in Christ, and we are going to celebrate His love today. We will sing and celebrate His love today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, today we are celebrating the memorial of Saint Martha, the sister of Mary and Lazarus mentioned in the Gospel of John. As we celebrate this memorial, as we remember Saint Martha, let us thank God for her and let's thank and also ask God to give us the grace to imitate the virtues of Saint Martha. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, whose Son was pleased to be welcomed in St. Martha's house as a guest, Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, serving Christ faithfully in our brothers and sisters, we may merit to re be received by you in the halls of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading taken from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, let us love one another, since love comes from God. And everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Anyone who fails to love can never have known God, because God is love. 
God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only son so that we could have life through him this is the love i mean not our love for god but god's love for us when he sent his son to be the sacrifice that takes our sins away my dear people since god has loved us so much we too should love one another no one has ever seen god but as long as we love one another god will live in us and his love will be complete in us we can know that we are living in him and he is living in us because he lets us share his spirit we ourselves saw and we testify that the father sent his son as savior into the world if anyone acknowledges that jesus is the son of god god lives in him and he in god we ourselves have known and have put our faith in god's love towards ourselves god is love and anyone who lives in love lives in god and god lives in him the gospel of the lord thanks be to god so the word of the lord thanks be to god our responses i will bless the lord at all times all together i will bless the lord at all times I will bless the Lord at all times his praise always on my lips in the Lord my soul shall make its boast the humble shall hear and be glad response I will bless the Lord at all times glorify the Lord with me together let us praise his name I sought the Lord and he answered me from all my terrors he set me free response i will bless the lord at all times please stand for the alleluia 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 all together alleluia alleluia Hallelujah I am the light of the world says the Lord anyone who follows me shall have the light of life Hallelujah 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to sympathize with them over their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus had come, she went to meet him. Mary remained sitting in the house. Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here my brother would not have died but I know that even now whatever you ask of God he will grant you your brother said Jesus to her will rise again Martha said I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day Jesus said I am the resurrection and the life if anyone believes in me even though he dies he will live and whoever lives and believes in me will never die do you believe this yes lord she said i believe that you are the christ the son of god the one who has to come into this world the gospel of the lord praise be to you lord jesus christ
my dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ today the church is celebrating the memorial of saint martha the sister of lazarus and mary who is mentioned in the gospel of saint john and the gospel of saint john also reminds us that jesus loved this family very much because this was one family who supported jesus and his disciples with their material needs and so one of the important lessons that we can learn from this family and from this saint martha is the virtue or the quality of hospitality that we must share our blessings whatever gifts that god has given us with the less fortunate with the less privileged so the value of hospitality the quality of hospitality is one of the qualities that we can learn from saint martha another quality that we find in saint martha is that of her tremendous enormous faith in jesus christ because we are told that when jesus visited bethany in order to see lazarus who was already dead martha was the first one to tell him that if you had been here my brother would not have died and so that indicates the enormous faith that martha had in jesus and that is another quality that we need to imitate from saint martha we all of us are invited to grow in our faith every day to ensure that our faith is not stagnant but rather it keeps growing and there are several ways by which we can ensure that our faith is developing for example through personal prayer through scripture reading through spiritual reading or maybe even listening to input sessions that the archdiocese offers us these days when we are locked down and so let us ask the grace of the eucharistic lord that like martha we may be people who extend hospitality to the less fortunate to the less privileged and also make efforts to grow in our faith through the various ways that the church offers us as we now offer the gifts of bread and wine let us also offer all our intentions all our needs all our prayers to the lord especially the people who are affected by this pandemic and people who have asked us to pray for their intentions Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness you have received this bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever Blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink blessed be God forever
pray brethren that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to god almighty father may the lord accept this sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church as we proclaim your wonders in saint martha o lord we humbly implore your majesty that as her homage of love was pleasing to you so to our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for in the marvelous confession of your saints you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled that great example lends us courage that fervent prayer sustain us in all we do and so lord with all the angels and saints we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith christ is died christ, christ is, is risen, risen. Christ, christ will come, come again. again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope and also our bishop his auxiliary bishops and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection we pray for you all the intentions which we have prayed for at the beginning of this mass month's mind mass death anniversary mass and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles saint martha and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We prepare our hearts to receive Jesus spiritually in Holy Communion using the prayer that is given to us. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. With the love of Jesus present in our hearts, having communed with him spiritually, like Martha, the saint of today, we give ourselves our hands to do the work practically needed to spread God's love, peace and joy everywhere. I give my hands to do your work. Hymn number 187. I give my hands to do your work and Jesus Lord I give them willingly I give my feet to go your way 
and every step I shall take cheerfully. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength, my strength. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my help, my help. For the power of His Spirit is in my heart, and the joy of the Lord is my strength. We take the last verse. I give my heart that you may love in me your father and the human race. I give myself that you may grow in me and make my life a song of praise. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength, my strength. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my help, my help. For the power of His Spirit is in my heart and the joy of the Lord is my strength. Let us pray. May the holy reception of the body and blood of your only begotten Son, O Lord, turn us away from the cares of this fallen world, so that following the example of Saint Martha, we may grow in sincere love for you on earth, and rejoice to behold you for eternity in heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for protection against the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere. Hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they may take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. With Martha and Mary, who were constant hosts to Jesus, we bring melody, joy and service to the world as we sing the hymn, recessional hymn, making melody in my heart unto the Lord. Making melody in my heart Making melody in my heart, making melody in my heart unto the King of Kings. Worship and adore Him, worship and adore Him, making melody in my heart unto the King of Kings. Love and serve Him from your heart. Love and serve Him from your heart. Love and serve Him from your heart unto the King of Kings. Worship and adore Him. Worship and adore Him. Worship and adore Him unto the King of Kings, unto the King of Kings.